Welcome to Briarfest News, and we have some interesting news in this video. It may not seem interesting at first, but just wait, I'll explain. We got another sneak peek for the 8th special run, who is a kind of golden looking color, and I was expecting it to be some kind of goldish decorator with maybe some designs on it like green shamrocks or some Celtic knots or something, but that's not what we got. The 8th special run is not a decorator. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's first talk about what Briar said about this new model. Say hello to our 8th Briarfest special run reveal, Thorn. Done on the classically handsome Trekner mold number 54 sculpted by Chris Hess, this icon is being released for this year's Celtic fling in a softly metallic buckskin blanket Appaloosa complete with mottling on his nose, Another of our fun throwback surprises to help celebrate Briar's 70th anniversary. Named for Thorn, the third in the Sacred Tree trilogy related to fairy lore, this plant has been long considered sacred. Combined with oak and ash, the thorn in folklore is said to ward off fairy mischief, but the hawthorn plant itself is regarded for its antioxidant medical properties, even today. Rudyard Kipling was so captivated by this tree lore that he decided a chapter in his fantasy book, Puck of a Pook's Hill, to these trees. A tree song is a poem about the trees oak, ash, and thorn that emphasize their symbolic nature in the history of the British Isles. To hear a lovely rendition of the folk song by Peter Bellamy, inspired by Rudyard Kipling's story, click here. And that link takes you to a YouTube video, by the way. As a reminder, early bird ticket sales end next week, so if you're still on the fence about buying tickets, now is the time to buy. So here's the picture of all three models together. It actually looks like they're all just photoshopped together, I believe. But let's talk more about this guy. So as we can see, this guy is on the Trekner mold. I'm probably pronouncing that, by the way, wrong. I don't know. I like this mold okay. I was expecting it to be possibly Adios or Idicus. Idicus was a really close matchup from this sneak peek. And I also was not expecting this color at all. I was really expecting some kind of goldenish decorator. But we didn't get a decorator. Instead, we got this buckskin Appaloosa guy. Who I honestly don't have too much thoughts on right now because I'm still surprised this isn't a decorator model. He's a pretty model and I like his Appaloosa design. I like the mold okay. But I'm mostly just super surprised that there is not a Decorator Special Run. Especially since the Decorator Special Run last year went over super well. It was like the first model to sell out immediately at every Special Run time. And I know those of us that like Decorators were all kind of waiting like, Ooh, it's going to probably be really cool because of the Celtic theme. Maybe it'll have Celtic knots or shamrocks or be some kind of green colored thing or something. So this is just quite a surprise to me. I don't even know what to think entirely because I was really looking forward to the decorator and then we didn't get a decorator. And this model they revealed is pretty. I like him, but he's not like super wow for me to like feel okay that there wasn't a decorator. So this does bring up the question, does that mean for sure there is just not a decorator special run this year? Or is there possibly a ninth special run? And honestly, I'm not really sure. Now, is it possible that there could be a 9th special run? And the answer to that is straight up yes, it is definitely possible. Whether or not it's going to be one for sure, I don't know. But here's some proof, because Briar has not said that this is the final special run. On the sneak peek, they said, Can you guess who our 8th special run model is for our Celtic Fling celebration? They didn't say final special run. And then same thing for Thorn, they didn't say that he is the last special run in here at all, they just said it's the 8th Briarfest special run. Now I have been thinking that Briar could definitely add another special run or two to their lineup instead of just 8, because they have had even more people coming to Briarfest each year, even more people buying the special runs. I believe they even ran out of special runs last year because of the celebration and the special limited edition models mixed in with the special runs. On normal years, they don't usually all sell out like that. But still, I was thinking that would be kind of neat if they did add another special run or two to the lineup. Now, does this confirm that there is another special run coming up? I don't know, because while yes, it doesn't say anywhere that he is the final special run, we do have to keep in mind that it also doesn't say that there's going to be another special run. 
At the bottom, Briar just says that the early bird ticket sells end next week. It doesn't say stay tuned for sneak peeks like it normally does. But again, it doesn't also say it's the final special run. Now, there would still be time for them to reveal another special run. The early bird ticket sales end on Wednesday, April 15th, which means Briar would technically still have time to reveal another special run on Monday and Tuesday and even Wednesday, because they do usually reveal all the special runs before the early bird ticket pricing ends. I don't know if there will be a ninth special run or not. I kind of personally am hoping so, because I was really looking forward to that decorator. So I am hoping that there's a ninth special run revealed on Monday or Tuesday, but it looks like we're just going to have to wait and see. We can't really confirm or deny the possibility of a ninth special run right now. I should also mention, if you don't know a whole lot about Briarfest and you're like, well, what is with this decorator special run? Why is it such a big deal? Well, it's a big deal because Briar's had a decorator in the special run lineup for over the past 10 years, even a lot longer than that, like 15 years, I have to go back and double check every single Briarfest. But for a very long time, they've always had one decorator model in the special run lineup. So them to just not have a decorator this year is very strange, especially with the theme because it feels like there's so much that could be done for decorators with the Celtic fling theme. So it is very strange, and it is why I am really thinking that maybe there could be a ninth special run. I guess some more of my thoughts on this model. I think he is nice, he's done well, but right now he's not really swaying me to buy another Briarfest ticket, to have another special run ticket. I think I'm just going to have to wait and see next week if they do reveal another special run. They very well could not be a ninth special run, and Briar didn't intend to make it sound like there might be something else coming. Either way, we do still have other Briarfest models, and there should be a Decorator Classic model coming for the pop-up tent specials at least. So I hope maybe they make that Classic look really cute, because I haven't really liked the Decorator Classic too much over the years, but maybe this year they'll make something that I really like. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Thorn, and also let me know if you think there will be a ninth Briar special run or not. Stay subscribed for all the latest at Briarfest news, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone!